What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Beta Memoirs. And today, I must say, Powell laid out the plan yesterday. Like I stated in the video last night, he is looking uh, essentially to help fund <laughs> everything. Even Yellen came out yesterday and was talking about this yesterday. Uh, that all is clear. There's restrictions on banks. Uh, if you are out today, you weren't watching. The banks took a massive hit today. I did have uh, JPM overnight. I got rid of it before the massive <laughs> sell-off today. Uh, but being said, um, the market itself, growth is in the clear. So like I stated yesterday, to watch after your major tech leaders uh, for the indicator. We got that today. You had Amazon. You had uh, Shop. Absolutely monster moves. You have uh, uh, NVIDIA monster move, uh, which is something else uh, to watch tomorrow because I think there'll be a continuation on uh, Nv NVIDIA because of the split that is on Sunday. Uh, so that is something to watch. But tech uh, or Tesla started to wake up. Uh, this was restricted a little bit there at that uh, 620 mark, but Ultimately, everything was starting to wake up. Apple had a massive day. Facebook had a massive day. Uh, Square came back. Uh, Roku wanted to come back. There's a lot of stuff that was pushing value in banks. Uh, took a massive hit today. Uh, it's what kind of held down the index. Uh, but ultimately, uh, things look good for growth. Uh, now, it is essentially, again, for SPY, the index was totally out of whack. Again, you had your, your tech leaders that were really pushing hard today, and then you had everything else that just kind of uh, shit the bed. So <laughs> being said, uh, tomorrow, what I'm looking for, I'm actually looking for um, a big tech, possibly even gap or, or, or pull back. I'm looking for value in uh, second tier tech uh, to do some pushing tomorrow. Uh, I think, Big tech at some point, if it's not tonight, tomorrow, uh, will stall. And then uh, for everything else to kind of catch up. And I think that in itself will help slingshot uh, the market into next week and to make uh, some bigger moves uh, across the board, not just in your tech leaders. Uh, I think that also helps springboard Tesla kind of out of the, the rough spot it's been in. Uh, but being said, uh, QQQ. Uh, looking uh, very strong today, all-time highs. Uh, I think, uh, again, we'll continue. We're going to do a retest here is what it looks like. Uh, we might even gap up overnight. I am holding uh, Tesla shares, and I did grab uh, Roblox as well because uh, I do like the consolidation on Roblox. Uh, but uh, let me go ahead and pull up the watch. Uh, tomorrow, Tesla, Myrna, PLTR, and then Roblox and SC. I think all these uh, look really good for tomorrow. Again, if not tomorrow, I think more than likely I will establish uh, some positions for the weekend. Again, playing it out how it will be uh, tomorrow. See, I want to see how the market reacts. Uh, again, like I said uh, the other day, yesterday, uh, when we got the news from Powell, you get the FOMC uh, closing statements yesterday. Uh, the market in itself... Uh, they digested that news. I, I expected that sell off, and we did sell off a little bit overnight, mostly yesterday, but we kind of held ground, which is good to see. Uh, and then we just pretty much tore up. Uh, seeing this move overnight, I can say that uh, I was pretty confident we we're going to push up at that point. I was expecting if it wouldn't gap down, that we definitely trying to push up from that point. And why I wanted to stay with the industry leaders because uh, they would be leading the charge. Uh, everything else, again, a lot of bleed off. Um, Second tier tech kind of pushed today, but then kind of just stalled out. Uh, I took some scalps on that. Lemonade I scalped today. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I scalped. I scalped a bunch of different ones today. I scalped Roblox calls. I'm still in shares, though. Uh, again, the only thing I'm holding is, is Tesla and Roblox shares. Uh, but I did. Uh, I also rolled some uh, Tesla calls throughout the day as well. Some shop calls uh, today as well. Uh, so those two um, big ones today, but uh, Tesla in itself, uh, we're still stalling. <laughs> this, uh, this 620 mark has been a rough spot to beat. Uh, once we get over that, then we got the 200 to deal with. But I think uh, what's this is going to help 
if not gap tonight, I think um, going into tomorrow, that's the four hour. I think we need once we break over this, I think uh, Tesla will be in the clear. Again, we got earnings in about a month and a half. Uh, so being said, I think Tesla will actually make a, a good run for this. This is why I grabbed it down yesterday. I like the fact that it held this uh, 595 mark. Uh, so in that at that point, um, I was going to swing uh, some calls, but again, I didn't. I didn't like the fact that we just went straight up. A lot of tech, big tech, just went straight up today. There was hardly any pullback. Tesla pulled back, but your Amazon's and your shop uh, didn't hardly pull back. Even um, Apple, uh, there wasn't very many uh, red candles, if any, on Apple. Uh, if we could actually pull up Apple. I mean, there were some red candles, but ultimately, I mean, Apple was strong too. Uh, so really what I'm, I want to see uh, going into tomorrow, uh, if Tesla can break this, right? If it does break it, I will definitely be swinging uh, calls with Tesla, uh, looking for that continuation with Tesla. I think Tesla can really run. Again, it's been held down a lot over the past uh, two months. And I think we are, we're looking for a breakout here uh, and we could very well get it. Um, if not tomorrow, I think uh, more than likely next week it will happen. Again, there's a lot of uh, adjusting and repositioning. Uh, quad wishing is tomorrow as well. So being said, uh, I don't think it's really going to have much effect on the markets, but um, it might be some profit taking tomorrow, uh, kind of repositioning tomorrow. Uh, so I wouldn't, again, be surprised if there's a little bit of selling. You start seeing some of your values that took a major hit today kind of rotate in and then go into uh, the weekend. I think there might be a push towards the end of the day. But Tesla, I like Tesla. I like uh, Myrna is the other one I have, MRN. Myrna, MRNA. Myrna, I like a lot on the daily. It came all the way down and I actually tagged um, the middle of Wonder Band, which I did like. I, did, I was going to grab it today, but again, I didn't want to hold anything. Um, I didn't want to hold Myrna overnight. Uh, only because of, of what to see. But I think tomorrow, as long as we stay in this range tomorrow, um, and maybe we break above the 202 mark or 203 mark tomorrow, and we open up at that 203 mark or possibly a little bit higher than that and possibly retest the 203, I think um, Merno would be a good one for tomorrow. Uh, possibly intraday, even multiple day trade here, or at least go back to the all-time high, uh, the 227. So you got quite a big of a, a move that is in there. I like the fact it's back over the 200. As long as it stays over the 200 and, can, again, can reposition itself, I think uh, Myrna will be a good one for tomorrow. Uh, you got uh, PL, PLTR, uh, Planter. I've been watching this one for a couple of days. I didn't take it when it was down here at 20. Uh, I've, I've thought about it, but uh, it's finally reclaimed that 25, and 25 has been really hard to get back to. Um I want to see where this opens up tomorrow. I'm wondering if this is going to play range here. Uh, if it does, I might actually look to take a position on this as well. Um, debating if I want to do shares or calls on this one. But I think uh, PLTR is going to, once second tier starts rolling, uh, PL, your PLTRs, your NDMs um, are, are some big ones, second tier ones that start to rolling uh, right out the gate if, if that is the case. Uh, so that's what I'm watching tomorrow. Roblox is the other one today. That's one thing I liked about Roblox. Uh, Kathy Woods bought uh, Roblox yesterday. Yesterday, uh, uh, somewhere around this dip. Uh, very could have very well been this one that was spiked it up. But I like the fact that it's been holding uh, this zone, this 82 mark. Uh, so I did take some shares in this. Uh, if it does back down, there's a strong support here and at the uh, 75 mark. So it does possibly dip down to 75. I'll be adding shares there. But I think um, I really like Roblox. I think uh, I think there was some hacker news or something like that that dropped it, that made this drop. Uh, I know the original one was there's uh, copyright rules or something like that, I believe, uh, for music. And then we had a hacker news. And then we kind of just been basing here. Um, but I, I see Roblox uh, making another push towards 100. Uh, so that's why I wanted to, to get an initial position and then go from that point. Uh, so this is a multiple day. Uh, my Tesla and Roblox are multiple days. Uh, they're in shares. I don't want to get the contracts chewed up too much. 
so I went with shares on those uh, because I feel like uh, on this next push, this next run, uh, there'll be some of the major highlighted ones here. Uh, and then one of the other ones I have is SE. I'm looking for a key point uh, tomorrow for SE. We're kind of getting at the all-time high, something I really want to watch, especially since uh, Facebook, or not Facebook, but Amazon and Shop have really been running. Uh, SE could be another one. We're at that point where I think we could really uh, make a massive run and get into that um, uh, that price discovery uh, at this point. So that's what I'm looking for here uh, across this base tomorrow and, and seeing if it does do some price discovery and really push. Uh, again, e-commerce has really been pushing hard lately. So that's something I want to keep an eye on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got. And like I said, uh, NVIDIA might be another one. I don't have it on the watch list, but it might be another one for tomorrow. Uh, again, massive move, uh, sh shares of splits uh, over the weekend. So being said, uh, maybe we gap down, we gap down, maybe we come back down to the 70, uh, 731 mark uh, and then continue to push up. Maybe it could possibly, I mean, if it really wants to go crazy, the way things have been moving, uh, maybe 780, 800, again, not financial advice and very well could not happen. Uh, but just the way these massive splits have been getting pushed and pumped, um, massive volume here today. And I know there was uh, uh, TTD also had a split. Uh, I believe today it was, and there was a massive push uh, on the last day. So that's why I'm kind of wondering if there'll be mass uh, volume in here tomorrow uh, to push in continuation of this as well. So that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got. It is Friday tomorrow. Um, I have to see how it plays. I, I do expect some red tomorrow at some point, whether that's overnight or whether that's uh, a gap and crap uh, is what I'm looking at. So that's what I got. So remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.